Hi there, welcome to number one geek. It is I, Saz, and we're back with some more RimWorld Save Our Station or Save Our Ship 2. Um, just to explain, uh, I did do some recording and it's like a complete muppet. Um, I didn't quite set the OBS correctly, so uh, things have gone a little bit awry, so I'm going to have to re explain a few things. Um, effectively, what's happening is, is that we've just cut this area off and we're starting to pretty much mirror this section here uh, and it has been a question of mixing the ship's hull with um, power and stuff now just taking that power out so that we can put a switch in here uh, I may have to take the power out that power conduit there just take that out as well And also power, pop in a power switch there as well. So that's ready. So effectively what we're doing here is we are just popping a hole plating down here. Get that all built in. So we're effectively just, just copying exactly what's going on here. Uh, we we'll also need to pop in... Another airlock there, just to make 100% sure. Just to make sure. Could probably... Reconnect. Probably reconnect that as well to be honest. Let's have a look at the power here. Ah, oh, there isn't any power. That'll be right. So all we have to do is that. And that should get all that working. And then we want to put in temperature, we want to put in a heater here just to make 100% sure actually to be fair we don't because this room's is probably going to get hot anyway so we can cancel that All right so apart from that uh, we have this section here that is slowly being taken apart for, for bits and pieces uh, this whole section here should be going uh, I've got all this all the all the bad stuff taken away first <coughs> and there's a big question mark over what's going to happen at this part of the ship here. Uh, I'm not sure yet. I haven't really thought about it. I'm just mainly concentrating on trying to get the uh, get the heat sinks all ready and sorted to work around the area. Um, we've still got loads of stuff left on here. I suspect it's uranium plastic apparently as well. Uh, yeah, uranium and plasteel. Even though we did do a big um, plasteel uh, transfer, We've got 60 plasteel, 71 plasteel, 80, 90 plasteel left out of a large amount that we managed to transfer by selling illegal drugs off. Hey, it's not the best way of making a living, but it's a way of making a living. Um, so we'll probably get some more uh, stuff doing. Uh, Tyron is still working on the neutromine and general oil section so we can get all that ready if we decide to uh, go landfall, so to speak. Uh, but I really want to get some more players, so or pawns, should I say. So we're waiting for a slave ship to turn up, to be honest. See if we can get some stuff and some bits and pieces from, from that. And that's really it for the moment. We've just got lots of bits and pieces to sort out and decide whether we're keeping stuff or whether we're not. Uh, and uh, once we have come to those decisions, we will uh, work from there. So uh, I'll come back when something a bit more exciting happens. And I'll see you shortly. So, as I was speaking... Let's have a quick look at what we've got here. 
48, Malbura Cat, Frost Boss. These are slaves, so let's have a look at these characters. Let's have a look at the bio first. Can capital intellectual, chemical fascination, quickly for very neurotic. What are the stats? Mining, plants, crafting. No, not really. Uh, Singleton. Let's have a look. Musical kids. So, too smart and greedy. Animals, artistic, medical, intellectual. Hmm. What about their health? Itchy stab scar. Careful, caring, cooking. So, this guy's pacifist and a brawler. He's health wise, he's 100%. On the bad side. All right, well. <clears throat> he might be the best one out of the lot. Anything else that we can swap here? No. Pop that heavy helmet over there. And that'll be us. Alright, Frost. Let's have a look at your work schedule, shall we, mate? Right, so first of all, let's go to Firefight. Patience. Bed rest. Basic things. Right, so don't need anyone as a hunter. Problem as a constructor. Okay. Planting and growing. He's probably going to grab himself a helmet first. How's your pen? The whole plating. Interesting choice. But hey, if he's going to go do that, then that's going to make life a bit easier. We are going to have to build another suit, I think. No. Be the big bastard. Let's try and make an EVA suit as well. See where that gets us. Frost. No, oh, he's using the, the spare room. That can do for the moment, but we can just make that his bed there. Let's uh, heat up the power in the room. And that should be that. Well, you know. Ask and thou shall be given, I suppose, is the uh, is the theory behind that. So, uh, got the extra person. Probably not the best person in the world. But, you know, beggars and choosers and all that. But, uh, we'll see how he helps. See if we can speed up some of the bits and pieces. Right, now he's done that in his room. We're going to set that owner as Frost. Looks like he's actually just going to go around and just do all the uh, 
the basic repair work. Which is fairly good actually, because um, it is one of his favourite skills as well, so he should get quite good, I would have thought. Okay, um, I've been having a quick look at this. Uh, we've got a refinery and loading bay to unload products. Chem fuel siphon siphons chem fuel from cans into chem fuel storage tanks. Chem fuel pumps chem fuel from chemical storage tanks into usable sellable cans. So you got an in and out there. Got a power plant. Must <coughs> your pipes as and then you've got your chem fuel storage tank here. So as I get it. We could process chemfield to synthaline, synth reed, process chemfield to synth reed and synthetic fibre for co clothing, synthamide, a high strength synthetic fibre. So we could, from the chemfuel that we're making, pop in. A chem fuel storage tank. Let's pop that in there. A chem fuel siphon. And we'll see where we go from there. Not too sure. This is all very experimental. But if you guys have got any uh, experience with Ryan Feller, pop something down in the uh, comment section to let me know. What you think, where you suggest I do things and how to prevent myself from blowing stuff up. But uh, we'll, we'll see where we go from there. I'm not too sure if I'm going to have to put some piping in or something. But we'll uh, work on that in a second. I certainly uh, picked up the Neutramine and put it on there. Sorry, Neutramine. The chem fuel. Hmm. That does one of the... Oh, yeah, so Frost has also got his uh, thing now, so he stopped doing the floors. It's obviously the last the last job on anybody's mind. Let's see what goes on with this. Oh no, it is, is actually storing the fuel in there. Okay. Now there's interesting. So. All oh, right, I can now see. Oh, these out will actually connect to these boys as well. Okay. That actually does make a lot of sense, to be fair. That's a lot to think about now, isn't there? That really has kind of changed the game up a bit because it means that I really should be looking at making more hops to uh, create uh, synthetic items with. 
but let's do that now. Uh, we'll have a think about it and see where we go, what we can do, or what applications we can have with this. Anyway, as you may have noticed, that's us done for today. So I just want to say thank you very much for watching. If you like what you like, press the like button. If you dislike what you dislike, press the dislike button. But please pop some down in the comment section to let me know how I can prove your content for you. If you like what you see, why not press that subscribe button? If you super duper like it, why not press that bell icon so you get updated every time I upload new content to YouTube? Other thing to say is it's just a click, guys, uh, for you, uh, but it's massive for the uh, channel and for the uh, YouTube algorithm. So please click away, but no pressure. I know how uh, annoying it can be when people just all oh, people seem to be caring about is you uh, doing stuff for them. Hopefully, I'm going to do doing something back for you, but that's about that. Anyway, I'm going to head off, so thanks guys. Bye-bye.